The name of the game is Show and Tell. This is where I bring in objects each week and use them to give you a few developing thoughts I have on the 2016 NFL season. First object we're bringing in this week, got a loaf of bread. And this is because I have zero issues whatsoever with guys like Christian McCaffrey and Leonard Fournette giving up their uh, you know, opportunity to play in a bowl game to prepare for the NFL draft. Because you know why? If you have an opportunity to go out there and get that bread, you get that bread. These guys don't want to risk you know, jeopardizing their NFL careers or risking uh, you know, potentially making more money in the NFL draft by suffering an injury in the bowl games. So I have no problem with somebody going out and getting theirs. Because you know why? These guys, they put it all on the line throughout their entire college career when they're not even getting paid. So the fact that you want to you know, all of a sudden start talking about loyalty and whatnot, you know what? I got no problem with this. If they want to go out there and say, you know what, I'm not playing this week, I don't want to risk tearing my knee, that's fine. We saw it with Jalen Smith last year. He, uh, he lost a lot of money by suffering an injury in a bowl game. So uh, go out and get yours, prepare for the NFL draft, move on from college, I'm okay. All right, second object. You got some mouthwash. And uh, it's because Jalen Ramsey, you want to speak of young players, uh, left a bad taste in my mouth this week. This guy's complaining about the officials. Calling it, saying that one of them's a homer, uh, thinking about, okay, is, was this guy related to DeAndre Hopkins? Like, come on, you know, you're a rookie, you got it. This guy's been causing a stir all year. I like the fact that he plays with a little bit of an edge. Like, I, I want a guy like that on my defense. But this is the same guy who had a beef with Steve Smith towards the beginning of the season after Steve Smith torched him and had a huge catch on a game-winning drive. I need to see more production from him before he starts melting off like this, uh, especially when, you, when you're crying about the officiating. And not only that, but you're on a team that's awful. The Jaguars are terrible this year. So I just need to see more of a pedigree before he's going out and, and making these allegations, especially against officials. I mean, that's just, that's just it's immature. Anyways, uh, finally we're bringing in a, a pill. It's a stress ball that looks like a pill, I guess. I don't know where the hell I came up with this thing, but it's because <laughs> that's the Redskins loss on Monday night to the Panthers is a tough pill to swallow. This team is terrible in prime time. Redskins 1 and 16 at home on Monday night football since 1998. The uh, playoff chances went from 53% to 25% by virtue of that loss. This team can't get it done when it really counts. That's a tough pill to swallow that loss. Probably not going to make the playoffs now. Oh well.